Hi, so I'm going to talk about how to fill the syringe and needle holder and tubing with oil on the TriTech Research Minge PD. Here's the unit with its syringe in place. Here's a needle holder and here are some of the accessories that you can use to fill it. There's a regular syringe with a lure lock end and there's some light mineral oil. The most important thing when filling the syringe and needle holder for doing positive displacement injection is to get rid of any possible air bubbles which would be compressible. It has to be a completely hydraulic system in order to be truly positive displacement. So what we're going to do is fill everything except the part in your needle where your solution is going to be with light mineral oil. So a way that you can do that, you can start with just a regular syringe. You suck up some light mineral oil. And put this on the lure lock fitting of the syringe. And then what you can do is you can hold this more vertically so that the air bubbles come up and out through the system. So as I'm pushing the syringe, the oil is shooting through the tubing and pushing any air up into the needle holder, then the needle holder out into the little fill tube. So now there's some bubbles and what we can do is direct those and any liquid back into the original oil supply until it's coming out bubble free. Okay, so now that we have the needle holder and the tubing full of oil, what we need to do is to transfer that to the actual injection syringe in a way that's bubble free. So we have the fill tube submerged in some injection oil, and then what we're going to do is we're going to siphon back through this tubing and into the other syringe. Alright, so here's the syringe on the injector and it's very easy to remove. There's just a thumb screw right here that you take out and then you just lift the syringe right out of its clip. Now we're going to take the plunger out for a while while we're doing this. Okay, so this tube here that is in the oil syringe, we're taking that off at about the same height as this so that it doesn't start siphoning or doing anything yet and we'll put it on the injection syringe. Now, by lowering the height of the injection syringe down here, the oil is going to start siphoning down through the system until it fills the syringe and as soon as you see the first drop come out and there's no bubbles anywhere, then you can put this the plunger in and then you've got a seal and the whole system is oil is air free and filled with oil. Okay, there we go. It's all set. Okay, so now that we have the system filled with oil, there is oil in the syringe, the tubing, and the needle holder and this oil fill tube. So we could move the plunger in and out of the syringe and there's still no air bubbles because it's sucking in more oil or putting more oil back into the tube without any air bubbles. And we can install this in the Minge PD now. It's very easy to do. You just push it down into its clip, put the plunger in its receptacle, and fix it in place with this screw. Okay, so the only thing left for you to do is to replace this oil fill tube with your own needle. So you loosen this fitting, pull out the oil fill tube, and stick in your needle, and then using the Minge PD, you can move the syringe forward and eject a little bit of oil to make sure that you're not introducing an air bubble, and you can fill your needle with oil, 
as you wish um, and you can also suck your sample backwards into your needle as you wish there are a lot of different options of what you can do but to the extent that you can you should try not to introduce any air bubbles because those will reduce the positive displacement effect thank you very much for listening and good luck with your injections